guys, so this is me again, and this time for This Week in Physics about the Nobel Prizes that were given last week. So I made a big video for you telling you about the winners and why they won their Nobel Prize. So the winners of the 2019 Nobel Prize for Physics were Jim Peebles, Michael Mayer, and Didier Kellas. So one of them is more to do with cosmology and the other two on extrasolar planets or exoplanets. So the Nobel Prize page, actually, um, when they announced it, this is what they said. So I'm actually quoting them. They said, no, no, the Nobel Prize in Physics 2019 was awarded for contributions to our understanding of the evolution of the universe and Earth's place in the cosmos. One half was given to James Biddles for theoretical discoveries in physical cosmology, and the other half was jointly given to Michael Mayer and Didier Kellas for the discovery of an exoplanet or extrasolar planet orbiting a solar type star. And if you want to know about exoplanets and types of stars, it's all on my playlist of the stars um, and another playlist of the extrasolar planets, okay, and the technique they used, which was the radial velocity. So, what did they do? So, Peebles um, was the one that was saying that the universe was only 5% of uh, visible matter and all the rest of the universe, all the others, 95%, were dark matter and dark energy. And um, this was a big thing in cosmology at the time because people were trying to understand and even Einstein was talking that maybe there was more matter than the one that we could see because of just the way and the speed that our galaxy was rotating around itself so James Beatles uh, was given Peebles <laughs> was giving the award for um, his percentages on dark matter dark energy and uh, five percent of the known universe you can pause the video to uh, read this picture that I got from the internet in more detail if you want and what is this dark matter and dark energy again I do have a video about it but very quickly dark matter is the force that holds the galaxies together uh, so it's kind of a gravity force for the universe and then dark energy is kind of an anti-gravity so is the uh, the energy or this weird force that is making the universe expand and actually being in this rapid expansion okay and Mayer and Kellos, they were together in a team when they found the first exoplanet so this is the other part of the award for not just not for the cosmology, uh, still astrophysics, but exoplanets or extrasolar planets. So May Mayer and Kellos, they discovered the 51 Pegasi B. Pegasi was the name of the star, B because it's the planet that is going around it, and 51 actually was part of the name of the, the star. Uh, and this first planet that they found, they used the radio velocity technique or the Doppler technique. Again, is in one of my playlists if you go on the extrasolar planets technique. And they found as I discussed in their play playlist, a big planet very close to the star. And this is one of the bias of using radio um, velocity techniques to look for extrasolar planets. But either way, they found the first planet around a different star that was not the sun. And this was a big thing. And this happened in 95. And now in 2019, over four thousand planets were found to be orbiting other stars in other solar systems so not ours so this is a field that is growing so so much and if you just think about it since 1995 up to today the number of planets that were discovered is just a field in astronomy that was growing so fast and so much so it's actually pretty cool and I actually was part in the team in uh, the extrasolar planets. We were looking for um, some stars and looking at the ion um, uh, quantities that these stars would have because these are the stars that are more likely to uh, have planets around them. And that's me and that's Mayer in the team. So that was a, you know, a big proud moment for me because I just felt that it was so nice to have the field that I worked in and that is my big, big passion to uh, get recognized for the first time with a Nobel Prize. And just, you know, to finalize this video, this is actually Mayer's reaction when he learned about his Nobel Prize award. So he was in Spain at the time for lectures and he was attending lectures, so some, you know, seminars. And this is his reaction as he saw all the emails and messages flowing in. Um, 
you know, congratulating him for the awards. So there we go. So the Nobel Prize winners uh, is for physics this year is all for astrophysicists, cosmology, and extrasolar planets. And in this part of the video that you can pause if you want, there's a full explanation on why they all receive these Nobel Prizes. So cosmology, discoveries in the cosmology, and extrasolar planets, finding the very first one of the over 4,000 extrasolar planets that we know so far that exist. So... I hope you enjoyed this video and up to my next video still on physics. I'm going to give one for um, English as well. Up to my next videos. Be happy and healthy. Bye.